What's up everybody, welcome to Selenix Crypto and in the next few minutes we'll be doing a price analysis and a price prediction based off of that analysis uh, on Atom or Cosmos, uh, we should better say, but I think, I mean, Cosmos is more like the blockchain, the project and Atom is the, uh, the crypto, the, the token used within it. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I saw that it was trending a little bit at least, I mean, compared to the market as you can see, and the volume is up quite a bit as well. Uh, now more than 16% of the market cap and let me tell you of, of a, a 9.2 billion market market cap that's actually quite a lot um, but I know there's a big community behind uh, Cosmos there's uh, a lot of people believing in it so uh, let's get right into it so um, last time I did an analysis it was kind of like an, uh, a combination between these two because I said from this point we would be uh, dropping down to uh, 25.6 again and we did do that but not really like this it was more like this so a little bit more bullish actually already then and then we did go uh, did drop down to that area right there um, and then so this was the other scenario didn't really do that but as soon as we broke that uh, right here we did manage to go up we reached uh, 33 dollars yesterday I think it was on a two days ago uh, and today we actually reached the uh, lower bound of this key level right here, the, the next major key level, I think at least, um, around $34. We actually managed to reach a $33.86. And from there we did find uh, resistance. Um, it's quite a strong key level, so I do expect this resistance to at least stick a little bit longer. I mean, there's, a, there, there, there's one opportunity, and that would be to now like... Uh, follow this trend line which I mean is possible uh, there's if you look at the volume there's still momentum in the price uh, so it's possible so that would mean that we would take a break retest off of 31.8 if we do manage to do that uh, and get up to somewhere like 34.7 then we might even get as high as uh, 36 that would be the next small key level and um, I still think that there's a lot of fear in the market, so I don't feel comfortable doing bold predictions. But I, I mean, it is possible to get higher if we follow this trend line. But if from now, uh, for example, we drop down, like this was the analysis, if we drop down all the way to, let's say, 31.3 and we don't get a really bullish uh, move off of that, then I just think it is more likely that we'll actually be dropping down more. And I drew this all the way down to... At this level but I expect us to do something more like this so we're dropping down now if we drop down to 31.3 don't get a bullish move you know we might still get up to 33 dollars but from there I do expect us to drop down to this level so that would be um, in these circumstances which are relatively bullish still in my opinion in these circumstances I do think 30 dollars would hold uh, a big psychological support level obviously but as you can see it also held quite a bit as uh, both a support and a resistance um, <clears throat> in the last let's say month so month and a half so um, yeah that's basically what I think uh, and, and from the 30 we might we'll probably set up a consolidation but that consolidation obviously could turn into uh, an uptrend if we manage to break $34 so that's the main thing we're looking for, really breaking this level, which would be uh, by breaking, well, let's say, 34.6. Uh, so yeah, that's basically my analysis for now on, uh, on Atom or Cosmos. If you do have any questions about this analysis or anything I said, uh, please let me know down in the comments, and I'll make sure to respond to that as soon as possible. As for now, though, thank you all for watching and listening, and I hope to see you all in my next videos. Bye.